What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. To my silent partners, my day ones, I fuck with y'all the long way because y'all fuck with me the same way to all of you. You guys who donate to the channel and support the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's very much appreciated. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to tap into these energies. Like we always do around throughout this time. Let those ass play if you should see one for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, today would be the last day to do so. I am running a $55.55 special for you guys. Just on that blowout of going out, I love you so much. And that's why I do it, okay? All right, let's get into the energy, Scorpio. I hope all is well with you guys on this Sunday evening. Hope you're spending time loving on yourself or loving somebody that's loving you back. Oh, Lord. As soon as I said that false flame came out. False flame causes you emotional distress and creates conflict. You are unsure of their feelings towards you and you give more than they do. They do not help you grow and you feel uncomfortable around them. First energy out. So I feel like, you know, it, it is what it is. You have somebody false. Scorpio, they've been there for a while. This person has been able to almost turn into what you try to guide them into me, but it's like the true colors keep showing up. I feel like this is a this time though the what whatever shows up, it, it's it's a finality here. It says patience in the reverse. I just want to know how much I miss I just want you to know how much I miss you and how much you mean to me. It's been difficult moving on without you, but I'm waiting on the perfect time to return and I'm trusting in the process. See that's that twin flame shit. That they telling you out their mouth because they rehearsed it. They heard you talk about it. They heard you say you they they're your twin. You they twin. But so they're operating in the wordplay, the love language of a twin. But that they're fa they're false twin. Period. They're false. And you're tired of waiting on them. And this person, I feel like this person may have moved on from you, ghosted you, gaslighted you, did everything they're able. To do just to see if they're able to make contact with you. If they still have access is what I'm getting. And they don't. What the fuck did I say? The ghost that is in reverse. It says, I'm sorry I had to run. But I couldn't tell you how I felt. Because I don't even know how I feel. It was easier for me to walk away. Instead of having to explain myself. Yup. It's so true. It's what I've been saying. Naughty thoughts is coming out in reverse. It says, I can't help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. You're all I think about when I'm alone and lost in my thoughts. The thought of you drives me insane. Yeah, it's like this person is passion driven. Sexually driven. They're not, they, you know, that's, that's the only thing that makes them want to act right and that's the only reason they'll act right on the act right for a little while after you give them the sex they back to their same low vibrational ass self and that's why you ghosted that you you know they ghosted you but good it was time this time they're not they don't have access back though that's the whole thing fragmentation of soul significant drama from past irrational unexplained fears checking out in certain situations Overreactions to seemingly small problems. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, people think that relationships are like, you know, they tell you just get over it, just move on. Like, they're a piece of shit. But people just don't understand when you actually in that shit and you live in that shit, you at some point you start realizing the fragmentation of your soul. You start realizing what this shit doing to you. And not only that, now you got to figure out how you're going to climb yourself out this mess that you put yourself in. 
You can't keep blaming people for, for, for you ending up in the same place. This got something to do with you. Something wrong with you that you even keep showing up for these people that haven't ever shown up for you. On the bottom of the deck, you pull an unawakening, unawakened fear of losing their old life, feel something is missing but is in denial, physically blocking and ignoring the connection. And Scorpio, I seriously feel like that's what you've been dealing with and you're sick of it. And I feel like the only reason you're sick of it because now you we always wait till we get at that loss, at that point of no return where you ain't got shit left. To realize you need to do something different. And Source is saying you're smarter than that. Why do you keep waiting for the other foot to drop? It's going to drop. Like, stop waiting for that shit. It's going to happen. Like, what are you? It's like, come on already. All right, let's see. Why is False Flame here for Scorpio? Why is False Flame here for Scorpio? Give me one second, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, sorry about that. Let's clarify this false flame here. Who is this imposter? Getting the king of wands. Somebody very handsome. Um, somebody very charismatic. Somebody bold. They could be over the age of 40 here. Don't have to be. Um, this person has a sort of inviting or like a commanding presence. Like they command the room. Um, this person has very strong conviction as well. Very good leadership skills. Um, and they track, attract a lot of attention wherever they go. This is kind of like a take action, get results type person. Very innovative and creative. Um, a lot like yourself, Scorpio, but I feel like you know, this person, they're, they're not healed. They haven't evolved. I feel like this person uses all their good attributes for manipulation here. At least that's what's been the case with you and their connection. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I feel like you walk away from this energy because um, it's disappointing. It's, you know, it's, it's dissatisfying. It's, it's like you're tired of your current situation. You have, it's making you have a bad attitude, Scorpio. It's making you act like this person acting. Um, I feel like you're, you're leaving your current situation or some type of job here. The Eight of Cups could talk about relocation as well. Um, you looking elsewhere for happiness. I mean, it's just, it's the Eight of Cups to me is just a dramatic change in your life. It's, it's you carrying through, you know, with plans. Now you're not, you're not. You're not trying to make some work that you know is false. In other words, you're pulling the eight of pentacles here. You could be seeing eight, eight, eight. Um, you know, the eight of pentacles just talks about mastery. It talks about you paying attention to detail. Now you're being awakened. You're realizing that like the errors of your ways and how you've been, you know, like sleep in your own life. Like you can't blame nobody else. I just feel like. With the Page of Pentacles, you know you're with the Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, you know you're better than that. You know that your hard work will lead to success if you could get your mind situated. If you could start working smart, I feel like too it's just you know, and this is about a new job, uh, about a job situation. I just feel like you're you're brushing up on your skills, or you going to school for something else. Yeah, the Six of Wands. Either way, either way it go, I feel like you're going to be successful, Scorpio, as long as your heart is in it, as long as your soul is in it, as long as it's purpose for you. I just feel like the, the with us, with the false flames and the relationships that are not on the up and up, it throws us off. It throws us back because we're consumed with it. To be honest with you, Scorpio really want that love relationship with somebody who like them with somebody who who esteems them for somebody who really you know is looking for that type of love it's people that ain't even looking for that kind of love scorpio that's what we got to face it's some people don't want you to know everything about them so that you can love everything or hate everything about them some people are very particular about the type of love they want why is patience in the reverse? I feel like you're just tired of waiting. You're tired of giving, 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 and then waiting on the result. And when it come back, it's not in your favor. 
You got a hangman. I feel like, you know, you're having to you're having to change your perspective perspective. I feel like the hangman is, is a card of contradictions. Um it talks about a confusing time ahead. If it, it talks about um It, it tells you to do the opposite of what you would have normally done because that's going to be the answer because you seem to not, you you keep seem to doing something repetitive. Like, you know, you're going to gain clarity and peace of mind from making a decision. I just feel like you're feeling stagnant. This, this false flame is just totally, like, got you tripping, Scorpio. It's like you don't even know where to connect again. I'm, I'm here just put away any selfish interest, man. Anybody who don't serve you, like, discard their ass. It may be, you know, necessary for you to sacrifice a, a couple of things to achieve your success. Instead of trying to control the situation and people, just leave them a fucking alone. Yeah. You can control yourself, the sun. I feel like you're just getting wiser, Scorpio. I feel like the last couple of relationships you've been through is just showing you that if you did for you what you did for other people, you'd be further in the game than you are. But I feel like with the sun, success, good health, and high self-esteem, confidence, love, career, all that shit, it's, it's coming to you. Because it's in your path. It's purpose. God I'm trying to figure out why you down here acting like an ingrate or acting like you don't know you, you royal. Like why are you down here behaving this way? Consulting with the commoners. It's okay for you to consult with them, but don't stay there because that's not your lineage. The three of wands, yours is expansion. You need to be thinking of ways to grow, not thinking of ways to stay small with small people. what I say? The four of cups, you bored. You bored with the mundane. You bored with the, the people who doing the same shit every year to you and think you're going to be the same person. You, you've been to them and it's like, nah. Why is ghosted in the reverse? You didn't ghost them. You stayed loyal to the end, Scorpio. But it's like you're done. The page of cups. It's like you show you show this person, you know, that you were interested in them. I feel like too the page of cups talks about being direct and brutally honest to people. You know, um, you could work in the artistic or creative field. You could be like a musician or a poet. You could be a tarot card reader, psychic medium here. Um, but I feel like with the page of cups here, I just feel like this person ghosting you was just like, it made you very moody and very emotional. I feel like, um, the page of cups talks about you sympathizing with other people's troubles. Being passionate about other people's shit. And I'm just hearing it's time for you to be outgoing and charismatic about you. Um, Scorpio, I don't know. I just feel like for some of us, we stayed in these relationships so long to like, we lack social skills now. <laughs> and different types of education. Like we've been so wrapped up in what this person was trying to do and what they was involved in. Until like you just lost your whole shit. You know, the Page of Cups too talk about somebody, you know, entering your life who don't even, without long-term effects or goals, like, they don't even mean to be there long with the Page of Cups. This is somebody who wants, like, some type of affair or something. Yeah, look at the justice in reverse. This person ain't trying to get married. This, this person ain't trying to have no equal partners or nothing like that. With the justice in reverse, though, I just feel like, Somebody wants you to show them patience now. Somebody wants you to be kind with them and, and, and fair. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? They want you to show show mercy to others who didn't show mercy to you. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. the justice in reverse could talk about violence too. Could talk about, you know, having biased treatment. And that's what you've been doing to Scorpio. So it's like the rules apply to your raggedy ass too. Ain't no more taking shortcuts. I'm following all laws, possible lawsuit, or debt collection, whatever this is, with the justice in reverse. Scorpio is old a debt, period. You're getting the um, page of swords that's coming out in the reverse here. 
This signifies somebody like under 30 or 40. They're very unpredictable. This person is just a loser. They're difficult to understand. They're a quitter. They, they, the only thing that get they focus is money, work, something that they're going to personally gain from. This person is being exposed to the page of swords in reverse. This is somebody being exposed. This is somebody who exaggerated a lot, tell lies. When you put them in the situation, the whole shit changes. They pretend to like people and then talk talk about them behind their back. You can't trust them at all. Not as far as you can pick them up and throw their ass. What I say, the emperor in reverse. This is an imposter anyway. They were able to, to, to fake like they was an emperor until the real one pulled up. What I say it. And that's just that on that. Naughty thoughts. Why is naughty thoughts here? Yeah. I feel like the naughty thoughts, you know, the magician is clarifying naughty thoughts because the only the only the only thing naughty gonna happen to you in this person is in their fucking mind. With naughty thoughts, because I just feel like it's over. Yeah, like like I said, it's over. This person just done too much. They really have. This person has just been bottoming out. I mean, you know, trouble is always in their way. They thinking like a victim or or some type of, you know, they think it's something will keep their life going instead of themselves. You know, it's just like crazy. It's plans and projects. Everything about this person now is in jeopardy. They home life and to be disrupted. Yeah, because whoever this is, they in the, 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 the ride over with. No matter how powerful and safe this person think they feel, they, they this trouble finna find them for what they done. Yeah, the star reverse, they refuse to heal. You can masturbate and have all the thought, naughty thoughts you want about Scorpio. You won't be touching Scorpio no more. You won't be having sex. Because in their mind, and me and mine, that's that's all they want anyway. As soon as you give them sex, they back to doing the same stupid shit they was doing that made you, what, not fuck with them no more. The Seven of Pentacles, you ain't fucking with it. You done. You are done. <laughs> it's like, what you gain after all the risks you put, how you left everybody behind, how you fell out with people who told you this shit was fucked up and you ain't want to believe them, yeah. It's happening right now in real time. You're just done. Like, everything people said, it happened. You're having, you know, you have having anxiety about mounting debts or something like this, too. Some of you guys, this could be your financial um, security being threatened by this person. You know, this person trying to, you know, tell you if you leave what they're going to take. Child, please. This person wasn't nothing but a disappointment to you. It's just like... It can't be no more lost than what I've already lost. And I'm willing to move forward here. This person is fragmented in their soul. Okay, you got to understand. This person is just cracking the fuck up now that you're gone. They act like they were saving your life, but we'll see. Because I feel like your life just got better. Yeah, the queen of wands. I feel like you're able to be your original self. I feel like you're back to yourself. You know, popular and outgoing, attractive, healthy, fit, fashionable competent, you know, practical with money, but you protective and you support it by other people. You don't have to ask for this. This is what people just bring in your life because who you are. Yeah, the seven of swords in reverse. <laughs> this is you questioning your own actions and judgment just because you've been under so much scrutiny and so much, you know, like hate with this person who was acting like they love you. Even your confidence is being shaken because of what's going on. This is arguments and oppositions to your plans. And, you know, this person was just a whole fucking mess in your life. But now this person's responsibilities are weighing very heavy on their mind. I, I mean, a price is going to be paid. They're facing a, and They're facing a lot of loss here. That cannot be avoided because of how they did you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. This is like heaven dry, drying up or closing up for this person. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, this is limits on your income. This is you not showing any improvement in your finances. Not you, Scorpio. This is person. 
This person is being passed over for raises and bonuses. It's just like they don't get any support. People talk about them and slander their names now because that's what they did to you. Yeah, the Eight of Wands is in reverse. This is a bad time to make any, you know, life-changing decisions, and that's what they're doing. I mean, they had to because you left. This is somebody who aborted decisions and commitments while they was with you anyway, Scorpio. There's somebody who think shit just have a way of working itself out. Just let it work itself out. No, you got it require action. And that's why this person sitting in the hole they sitting in now. This shit ain't going to resolve itself. It's over with. Something had to happen. Scorpio had to leave for this person to even know you had a pulse, Scorpio. To even know what you meant to their life. You had to actually abandon, ghost this person. What's the advice here? The nine of pentacles. This person never thought you would leave. They was they was real secure and high so did it how mighty thinking that Scorpio was gonna always be there and they was gonna always be able to do what they've been doing to Scorpio. The strength card, the nine of pentacles, the hermit, what I say? And the two of pentacles in reverse. Scorpio will not allow you to juggle them and treat them like a piece of shit when they know they're the abundant one. The Nine of Pentacles talk about money and possessions are safe. <laughs> you know, you 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 know you you don't have to watch out for 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 thieves. You can rely on your own instincts and research. You don't you don't have to trust financial advisors. Scorpio, come on, you come into a large sum of money could be an inheritance, a lottery win. But whatever you invested in, it's going to pay off. Even though you invested in this person and they didn't pay off, God's still going to bless you because of, because of the hard work you put into this situation. And because you came up with nothing. And because you had the strength to leave and start continuing back into the person you knew you once were before you met this person. Post foolery. Yeah, the devil. Post foolery. Like I say, this devil can't juggle, juggle you no more. They're not able to control your narrative no more. This bitch is done. It's done. Could be. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Now you with Prince Charming. Somebody who loves Scorpio. What I say? The king, the Knight of Cups with the Death card. You with somebody who loves the fuck out of you. They don't want nothing else but you get them Death or get them Scorpio. And that's just that on that. On the bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Cups. What I say it. This person just want to be happy with you. They ain't got time for this foolery. I'm here moving silence. Get this false train, false flame out your life because you was a blessing to them. Stop being unawakened, Scorpio. It don't fit you. It's time to move forward. Look at these cards. Let's see. Time to move forward. All right, that's enough tea. On the bottom of the deck, sunrise, new creative ideas, new event, event, new ventures, and fresh start here. You know it got to be a fresh start because it's definitely going to be an ending. Several endings. Like, who playing with their life anymore? Who got time to do that shit? Not Scorpio. You want to keep playing? You 50, 40, 60 years old. Keep playing with your life until you meet God. I mean, but Scorpio not going to be a part of it. It says valid, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Yeah, it's like you done, Scorpio, it don't get no, no more deeper or the depths don't get any more deeper than where you've been. And where you probably going to return again because of just, of who, just because of who you are. But you always rise. You pull an eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes in your life immediately. Wealth is here. Beetle, good fortune, Scorpio, ain't nothing wrong with your life. You've been submitting yourself up under a connection with somebody who's been not only sucking you dry, not only not giving you shit back, but they making you feel like you're a piece of shit. They're, 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 every day they talk down to you and do this shit, they stunting your growth. They stagnating the possibility of what God put inside of you. Come on, it's time to go. Pen, new job or career. Some of y'all are leaving jobs y'all been on 15, 20 years. Legs, stepping into a new experience. What I say? Boat, money, 
or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Absolutely, it's flowing. Coins, money will be coming to you. I can't make this shit up. Woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Dog close up, pleasures with close friends. Yeah, I feel like you get a whole new community. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Move in silence, that's all you need to do. Not unsuccessful plans. And kite, you have vacation here. Yes, Scorpio, I feel like just keep moving and keep ending what need to end and keep, you know, giving life to what need life to because at the end of the day, it's your life. You ain't got to wrap your life around somebody else's life who want to bullshit and, you know, they got different views and different ideas. I don't care what nobody say. Opposite may attract, but they don't keep you married. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join, let those ass play if you see them for a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube be like a personal reading with me today will be the last day I am offering personal readings for fifty five dollars and fifty five cent. Um, until further notice, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.